So is it is it airborne? Is COVID-19 airborne? It is airborne. Yes, it is airborne. And that's another reason why it has spread so rapidly. And so when we say airborne, it's when someone coughs, they sneeze, or they're speaking. And there's some spray that comes out of your mouth and your, or wherever because you sneeze or you cough. And it's aerosolized, and it's in the air for a period of time. The New England Journal of Medicine last week said three hours in the air. Wow. Three hours in the air, yeah. And so that's airborne. And then respiratory droplets are what we were talking about before. Again, coughing, sneezing, speaking, but then getting on your clothes, getting on a surface, then you touch that surface, and then you touch your face, and then it gets in your eyes, your nose, your mouth. So there's been this big, which is it? Is it respiratory? Is it airborne? At least for what we know right now, it's both. Wow. And when I the CDC website, just before we talk, this to confirm they didn't change anything, um, the New England Journal of Medicine did say three hours in the air that the coronavirus lives at least, and, and the respiratory droplets we already knew. So, and here's another point. When someone's on respiratory isolation in the hospital, we're not necessarily using, we're not using N95 masks. We can use this. We can cover our eyes, our nose, and our mouth, right? But when someone is airborne, that's when you introduce an N95 for precaution, okay? So that's the difference for the caregiver when we go into the so just really quick. So on the airborne, again, I told you hypochondriac issue over here. I get it honestly from my dad. But when you um, talk about the airborne piece and it stays in the air for three hours, that means if I coughed three hours ago in my house, it can it's just hovering. Technically, that is so nasty. Yeah, I mean, we have to talk to the authors of the New England Journal to say, you know, in what conditions yeah. did you connect with the studies and things like that. I'm sure sometimes it might have been one hour, or maybe if you were coughing in a different trajectory and it wasn't windy, it might have been fewer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But that is certainly in what they put out. In fact, if I find that, I'm going to read it to you directly. Yeah, and just, and just curious about, like, does that mean, um, so when people right now are like, they should go outside to get fresh air, is the air really that fresh? Like, okay. oh, I know, and I know, these are real questions that you're asking, I think, and that's when people talk about, again, the social distancing and the shelter in place, lockdown, whatever you want to call it, that people need to take that seriously, and I feel for folks that live in apartment complexes or really close together yes. and there's not really some place to go Ooh. you know yeah. you know folks are fortunate when you have a yard that you could sit on your porch that you could walk around the backyard and things like that because that's your space and i feel like that air is probably good okay. you know um i feel like going to a park or area really early in the morning or really late at night when you could probably guess that there haven't been a lot of people congregating is probably safe, you know? Other than that, we use our greater than six feet distance away. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so this is, okay, so this was from the National Institute of Health, Tuesday, March 17, 2020. The virus that causes coronavirus 2019 is stable for several hours to days in aerosols and on surfaces. So when we say aerosols, that's airborne. Um, and then it goes on, the National Institutes of Health, CDC, Princeton University Scientists, and New England Journal of Medicine found that it was detectable in aerosols for up to three hours, for four hours on copper, up to 24 hours on cardboard, and two to three days on plastic and stainless steel. Uh, oh my and then it goes on. Yeah. It suggests that people may acquire the virus through the air and after touching contaminated objects. Okay. And then it says the study information was widely shared during the past two weeks after the researchers 
place the contents on a pre-print server to quickly share with their data with colleagues. Thank you.